well you hear the music. That means it's time for this week's KETK Gives Back, a way for us to thank first responders and caregivers for the sacrifices they make to serve and protect us every single day. KETK's Perry Elia Durrani joins us live. Perry, who are we honoring this week? Today we have the honor of honoring the Overton Volunteer Fire Department. How are we all doing today? Good. Fantastic. So, uh, like a lot of fire, volunteer fire departments, these folks are, are taking time out of their day, out of their work lives. They've got jobs outside of this to make sure their community is safe. First of all, I wanted to introduce you to Mr. T.J. Lewis. How are you, sir? I'm good. I'm very good. Thank you for taking the time. Uh, so tell me a little bit about your guys' department and the work that you do. Uh, so we're, we're basically a, a mix of 20 men and women, and at any point in time we get away from Thanksgiving dinner, get away from Christmas, leave our little families, and anytime there's an emergency, you know, it's our ugly faces that you're going to get to see. And, and I had the pleasure of meeting your daughter. She's very sweet. Uh, and tell me a little bit about why, you know, you have to leave some of those family moments behind to go volunteer for your community like you do. Right. So the big thing here is funding. I mean, we can't afford in, in our community to put on a full-time department. So there's just guys like us that either, like, I, I grew up watching my dad do it, and other guys, they just found it randomly and thought it was interesting. So, but it's basically funding going to be the main thing that this is an all-volunteer department. Well, it's wonderful work that you do, and I want to introduce you to some of his uh, colleagues as well. Uh, sir, how are you doing? What's your name? Good. My name is Michael Munns. And, uh, thanks for taking the time. I understand that you also have a job outside the department. Tell me about what you do and, and why you still spend time here. I work for the city of Shreveport uh, Fire Department. I've, I guess I'd say I joined just to you know, give back to my community. They gave us so much, and we can help them out any time I need. That is amazing. I want to introduce you to another uh, member of this wonderful team. Sir, how are you doing? What's your name and uh, what kind of job do you do outside of this? I'm good. My name's Kyle. Uh, I work for uh, SPM Oil and Gas in the oil field. Um, I do this because I like to give back to the community. Um, I like to see people, people's faces smile when they see us coming, especially like in parades and stuff like that and just helping people in time of need. And you guys really are, again, all these guys, separate jobs, separate lives outside of this work, but they do it because it is important work that needs to be done uh, to protect families, to protect uh, a little uh, boys and girls in their community. And I want to talk to you, sir, about that partnership with the community because volunteer fire departments really rely on their community. Tell me about, uh, about that relationship. Absolutely. We 100% rely on our community. Yeah, we've got, in my personal opinion, we've got probably the best community around it. We've had open houses at the station. I've seen the station full more than I've ever seen it before. And when we do our little annual bucket shake at the four-way, I mean, you won't see a vehicle that randomly turns down a side street. They're, they're completely willing to reach in their pocket no matter how hard their times are and give back to us, which are, we're in need more often than, than we would like to. So the, we've, got a, we've got a strong community that 100% has our back, and uh, we, we appreciate it more than they could ever know. And I'm, again, I'm sure they appreciate you guys. I know we all appreciate you over at KTK, the work that you guys continue to do. Of course, this part of our regular segment, KETK Gives Back, sponsored by Peter Chevrolet. They're letting us go out and do this each and every week, and we love doing it, folks, because these are great guys and great first responders all across East Texas, we have to thank. Uh, and, and in addition to just giving them our thanks, we've got sandwiches here for all the brave men and women in this department, as well as periodic donations given out by Peter's Chevrolet. Uh, Peter's gave away three donations already this year to first responders all across East Texas. Texas. We've got one more coming up. We're very excited to see where that's going to go. But in the meantime, I want to let these guys go back to their jobs, back to their kids, uh, and back to their sandwiches. So signing out from Overton, I'm Perry Elliott-Arani. Thank you very much, Perry, and another big thank you to those guys out there.